a gunman went on a rampage Wednesday morning in southeast D.C., shooting people seemingly at random after altercations on a public bus and at the Potomac Avenue metro station. In the end, authorities said a metro employee was killed and three other people were injured. The suspected shooter was tackled by passengers on the metro train and is in custody. The Metropolitan Police Department held a press conference to provide updates on the shooting. D.C. S. Mayor Muriel Bowser, Metro's GM Randy Clark and Metro Transit Police leaders were also at the scene. We believe this to be a series of individual events, MPD Executive Assistant Chief of Police Ashen Benedict said. The shooting was reported at about 9.20 a.m. on Wednesday. The first incident happened on a Metro bus. The suspect was in an argument, followed the victim off the bus and then shot them in the legs. That person ran off and was transported to a hospital, police said. The shooter made his way into the Potomac Avenue Metro Rail Station. He talked to someone getting a Metro card at a fare machine and shot them in the legs. He may have also pulled the victim over the turnstiles, according to police. The suspect continued down the escalator and got in an altercation with a woman on the station's platform. Two Metro Transit employees were watching this unfold. One of them attempted to intervene and was shot by the shooter. The employee died at the scene. His identity was not immediately released. A second Mata employee also tried to de-escalate the situation. Police believe he did so successfully because no one else was shot after the intervention. The shooter then got on and off the train several times. Similar to the situation on the bus, he's walking around brandishing a firearm and just randomly engaging people in conversation. He's clearly agitated about something. We're just not sure at this point, that's going to take some time, the investigation, Benedict said. Police said they found the suspect on the platform alone, because people had fled the area. Our officers were there within minutes of getting the call for service. But due to the heroic actions of our citizens, of our community, to disarm this shooter, I can't put a price on that. I think they saved lives. That's to be commended. But the fact that our citizens have to intervene with armed gunmen is disturbing to me, Benedict said.